Hello everyone, we are back for our final drive of the day. So, I don't know what I'm going to decide uh, yet, but by the time you watch this, there will probably be some decision made. Um, I currently have the update pinned in for 69.1.1. Um, so far, everyone's saying really positive things about it, um, which is great because 69.1 has been quite well, quite good for me. Um, but if 69.1.1 is even better, then I'm all for it. Um, we're going to see how it does for us here. Our, um, Oh, I was told the highway was blocked by a trailer or something that got in a wreck. We'll see. It's showing it's clear right now, so I'm hoping everything is okay. But we'll see how it does uh, going through town. It's going to be higher traffic tonight than normal because of a festival, Apple Festival. Um, if you like apples, um, definitely come to Hendersonville, North Carolina, Labor, Labor Day weekend. You'll have a lot of apples. Um, so... I actually wasn't paying much attention, which is a good and bad thing. Um, it's good in that um, that drive going down the hill felt really natural, like as if my mom was driving or something. I drive a little bit faster than that, but it felt really natural. Okay, we have to um, gotta cancel that um, until we get past Browning, so it routes us home uh, through town. So we have a consistent route. Um, yeah, so just the kind of reflection on today, I've been pretty happy. It, it, it seems interesting that maybe 10.12 was so bad, or 10.12.2 was so bad for me in Nashville that, that anything could like make it easier or something, I don't know. But um, when I go to look at today, like what happened today it just there's so many areas that were improved that just just felt so much more solid than the last time I drove there that you know it just it gives me a lot of confidence that uh, they're doing like a lot is getting solved here um, the 69.1.1 update has um, has improved um, so I guess, I don't know if you want to call them map issues, you know, where it doesn't get in the right lane, that type of stuff. They say it was improved. Now, I want to start a conspiracy theory, but again, Tesla could, you know, mainly get those fixed, especially in the vi people posting videos and they're like, hey, look, it worked now. I don't think that's happening. I hope that doesn't happen. If that, if they ever get caught doing that, that's, that'll destroy their reputation, in my opinion. But hopefully not um hopefully it is learning and we'll, maybe we're getting on that exponential learning curve um like if that's the case like if we like if in a few months like this route back and forth is just perfect almost every single time then we are getting somewhere very quick uh, but we'll see let's see it is slowing down like it didn't need to sl oh. <laughs> it didn't need to slow down so much and we could have made it through this light but um we didn't so we're just wait here A little bit of phantom braking here. In 1, feet, ride on to Asheville Curious Island. if it's going to try and stop for the stop sign. So it appears they have finally fixed this stop sign here. The last few versions have not um, tried to brake for that stop sign. It actually doesn't even register on the screen anymore. Um, I feel like that was a manual and fix. They, I've Asheville pressed Island. the camera button enough times that I would guess they have um, a labeler saw that please turn on turn on you can do it you can do it okay so um, this is the next spot it so 10 not 12 not sure why it's getting over two lanes that's fine but i don't think it should have done that um it did it one time where it turned the blinker on i don't know why but that's only one time ever has it ever turned the blinker on right there actually going like really slow in here. I don't like it was slowing down. Nope, now that's wrong. Right this lane oh they got new map data so maybe 
I'm not sure. Well, we got 2022 map data, and this was made last year. So maybe it finally got this um, new turn lane. But however, it thought, because it's turning right, right here, it thought it needed to get in the turn lane. Unfortunately, um, and we don't need the blinker on, because we're just going straight. So it just turns on and off, which is interesting that, like, it confuses the people around around you. It just needs to stick to a decision and, you know, make it happen. I can't cancel it. Um, like, I can flip up on the stock and it still doesn't cancel it. But it is confusing the people. I do need to be in the... <laughs> I need to be in the left lane and then it gets the speed limits wrong around here. That's the other problem. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to get over. Okay, well, that was two disengagements. So, but these were all... I uh, get into that turn lane. I did try and do that in a previous update. Getting uh, that... Seeing someone parallel park, that is due to the extra traffic tonight from people trying to go to Apple Festival here. And you can see it trying to go, which... Fortunately, it now obeys this um, line right here. Uh... Previous updates we're trying to run Return right through that. Avenue West. I'm hoping they fix this speed limit here. Because it should not be Oh no, they did not. <laughs> it doesn't see it reads this sign, it says 20 mile an hour on that sign, but it doesn't register until we get down to the light for when the map data finally updates. So it finally updates right here. However, if I don't scroll it down, it's going 35 mile an hour all the way to the second light down here. Um, and that is um, in this area is it's very dangerous um, for people walking around going across the streets and everything it's far too fast far too fast on this area of course you're on 15 over the speed limit um, I don't I, I've reported it so many times I've emailed them blah 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 I had I don't, I don't know what to do to get, like, speed limits per, I think, that and lane selection should be targeted next. Like, as, as much work as they put in the, um, all the stuff required in this update, they need to then just do that on, like, you know, choose one thing, like, lane selection or speed limits, and do that. I mean, obviously, I don't know what works best for them for their, um, development process. That would be my preference uh, of what they work on next in terms of like what causes me the most issues. Uh, either speed speed adjustments and speed recognition of signs or lane selection. One of those two. And then the next update, if, if they fix both of those, like this software is like gonna be next level. That's that's what it would take, I think, to be next level. If like when Elon tweets, oh, the software update is gonna be next level, I'm like, is it really? Like, is it gonna fix all these basic issues? Like, it's impressive. Like, this update is incredibly impressive. Um, like, so many improvements that I'm noticing, like, each update, um, like, a month and a half of work. And I do notice up, uh, like, substantial improvements with each update, which is good. And minimal regression on this version, which is also great. So I would say this is like three steps forward and one step back, you know? This this is uh, this is great work from Tesla. Whoa. Okay, so something has changed on lane selection. Um, that is the wrong lane to be in. I don't know if it's ever done, like it tried to do that a long time ago, but not that aggressively. Like, it's like, this is the right lane, I'm going into it. Like, it's not like it's like, oh, I think this might be the right lane. Let's just kind of casually get over with the blinker. I'm like, nope, it was just swinging right into the lane. Um, yeah, and that's the wrong lane. I'll show you up ahead. When I first got beta, I was surprised it never did that. Um, me as a human, and I've seen humans, I have it on video somewhere, um, making this mistake. This lane dead ends at the mall. 
the, the lane to my right. Um, so unless I want to be not so great person and use it to cut in front of everyone, then sure. But to use that lane to go to my destination, which is to get onto, onto the on-ramp of the highway, it does not. So right here, it ends. It goes straight into the mall. And so there would be no point to me have gotten in that lane to get back over into this lane. It wouldn't have got me anywhere any faster. And just, yeah. So it's just a poor decision on the car's part. Which is interesting because th this is one of the first updates to ever see something like that. So that, as I just said, there were hard, no, hardly any regression. That was a regression on this update. Uh, I've done this, this drive with multiple zero disengagements. Um, before I, at least two, if not three, separate times, separate versions have been zero disengagements. And I've done several zero disengagements off video as well. Um, with, I don't remember which versions, but obviously older versions than this one. So if you're going strictly off disengagements, this one is worse for sure. Like there's two spots just from lane selection issues. Um, I, I will give it a pass on the car uh, parallel parking. That is not something I really expect to, you know, be solid on until later. Uh, I would much rather work on the lane selection issues. Yeah, you know, see if it's gonna turn the blinker on or anything like this car they cut in front of me. No blinker, but smooth lane change onto the on ramp. See how it does. Yeah, I didn't use this on-ramp yet um, with this version. See how it does in terms of speed and merging over. So, nope, so that's gonna be a disengagement. It's back to one of the change over two lanes again. So this will be interesting, so Again, I've heard a lot of improvements with 69.1.1, like Chuck had a better drive, I, like everyone, I think. I don't think a single person had worse drives. May, was it placebo? Was it just because they did the same drive at a different time of the day that was more favorable? It seems unlikely that so many people would have better experiences with that version, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, when I get it, I'm probably not going to be doing this particular route for at least until next weekend. Uh, maybe. Maybe on Monday. Um, I'm off Labor Day, so we'll see. But I'll be curious how it affects these drives, but I'll be pumping out these videos for you guys. Um, and we'll see what we see. takes this exit again so this is a what is it, same version yeah let's see if it does the same mess up as last time because it's about the same time and I mean it's a little uh, pretty close to the same time period so it got really yeah see this time no problem at all besides the weird blinker but it didn't have any hesitation at all. Do we... I don't know why... Okay, here's the creep wall. Um, that was good. Definitely good. That's good in terms of the turn and everything. As good as it was last time. Uh, so that's great. That's an improvement from the previous version again. And that's the same... Like, it's a coded stop right there. That's... Doesn't make any sense. So every single time I've gone past that exit, regardless if there's a car or not, 
it jams on the brake right there. It's like it's it's like something with the map data in this version is like conflicting and causing causing that problem. Like it like that's three times, three for three, that it's done that every single time. So that's really interesting that it's done that. So everyone, um I appreciate you watching this even though it's not the la technically the latest version, but I think it's close enough. Um I will see you in the next video, and yeah, I'll see you down in the comments. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.